There's certainly a lot of touch going on there. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the next episode in Sense and Sensibilities. It's a series that I've been doing over the past couple of weeks, months, about all the five senses in lions, leopards and hyenas. Today we are on to the sense of touch in leopards. So stick around, you don't want to miss this one. The leopards never ever let us down. Right guys, so I've arrived here at the black leopards. I'm going to be talking about leopard sense of touch and I thought the two characters that really performed um, very well in the leopard sense of smell last time was Duke and Khan. So I'm going to give them another bash and there they are waiting patiently for me. I think they know that there's something, um, there's something up. <laughs> All right, so they've already <laughs> they've already demonstrated quite a few um, touch um, instincts or touch behaviours. One one uh, oh one very important um, <laughs> they are both. They are both going crazy today, eh? Yesterday. What are you guys doing? No, no, don't do that. So that is dominance. Dominance. You can see the behavior there. Certainly a lot of touch going on there. Touch, touch. Okay, as I said, the leopards will never disappoint. There was um, a perfect demonstration of their touch capabilities. Um, that wasn't exactly play. I was going to talk about play, um, especially mothers and cubs, cubs and cubs, and um, sometimes even a mating pair. So Duke and Khan, as many of you know, are brothers. But you'll see touch plays a very, very important role in his behavior. Um, he's, no, no, don't suck that bad. He's sucking my pants. Sucking, licking, pawing, pawing, and clawing. But what I wanted to show was those whiskers because I think before we get on to talking about those paws and those claws all utilized in sense of touch I wanted to talk about these whiskers also known as vibrissa and they don't just have whiskers on their face they also have whiskers just above their eyes or by their eyebrows is marking touching that's Duke that's Khan so they have these very prominent whiskers and their whiskers are different to lions uh, lions also have um, whiskers hyenas less so um, but the whiskers in leopards are very interesting because they are very tactile um, organs and they are used extensively in the sense of touch. So if you can imagine a leopard is predominantly nocturnal. The interesting thing about a leopard's uh, vibrissa or whiskers is that they from tip to tip um, span the width of the body. So if a leopard is walking through the bush and 
he, his whiskers are not touching on either end. He knows that his head and body are going to fit through there. Um, and that helps him navigate through the environment, um, especially an environment where you can't exactly always see uh, properly because of the ambient light. All the predators I've been talking about thus far, the lion, the hyena, and now the leopard, um, cats have notoriously raspy or rough tongues. So they'll be used in grooming, uh, grooming of each other, uh, grooming of themselves, mothers grooming cubs. In fact, mothers groom cubs extensively. Um, and it's known that the saliva of a leopard, um, actually what it does is it stimulates, when it gets on the skin, it stimulates the production of vitamin D. I didn't know that. So that's a real cool, interesting uh, fact. So licking is also used, as I've said many times before, it's used in, in, in um, getting to the meat to work it off the bone. Um, it's used, the, 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 the spinous processes are used in drinking when they dip their tongues into water. Um, it actually acts like a sponge and then they can squeeze their tongue back into the back of their throat and drink. So the tongue in terms of its use in touch is absolutely incredible. And there he goes again. Lick, 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 lick. So they are prolific lickers um, and they they lick for, as I've said, for different reasons. The why, why people are asking, well, he might, oh, look, he loves you, he's licking you. And okay, he does like me because if he didn't like me, um, certainly I wouldn't be here talking to you. Um, the licking really is about um, sloughing off the skin uh, that I have on, on my arm and also about uh, the salt. So from me sweating, um, there's a lot of salt. That's another one I wanted to talk about, pawing. So pawing, there's a good sense of touch, look at him. No, no, you can't have it. Paw, 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 and dunk, dunk. I knew you guys wouldn't let me down. Now he's going to try and grab it. Now he's looking. <laughs> so pawing is something that they do when they're curious about something. Um, and they all do it. So if they come across something in the bush, um, what they're going to do is they're going to come across it, they're going to think twice about it and then they're going to try and touch it and touch it and touch it and see what it does because they're very, very fast. So they have fast muscle twitch and they, um, they, can, they can really move at pace. Leopards are phenomenally quick. If you think you're going to um, outrun a leopard or if you think you're going to outmaneuver a leopard, you've got another thing coming. I can't say uh, enough about the capabilities of these uh, cats. No, guys. <laughs> guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I don't mind you being here, both of you. But the, no, 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 no. You're not going to get all funny with each other. <laughs> no, no, it's his turn. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> giving them some space. All right. Now. You guys are really, really, really cranky today, eh? So now it was uh, the other one's turn to dominate the other one. So they. They're getting their own back and that is before people start like commenting and saying what's going on with these leopards this is a normal uh, kind of dominance behavior uh, amongst cats leopards are not typically social animals um, they are asocial cats so you've got to remember that but these two have lived together for a long period of time so they've become very <laughs> they've become very tolerant <laughs> Do you just see how, how incredibly dexterous they are in terms of the way <laughs> these two are going at it again? <laughs> in, in the way that they are able to um, feel and grab and touch things, it's almost, it's almost uh, human-like, um, which is incredible. Because um, the other cats 
paws aren't quite as well developed in terms of the ability to move each one of the digits around. See those, those paws act like fingers. See that? There we go. Look at that. Do you see that? Okay, boy. Almost like little fingers. You really are being a nana. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right guys, so because they've been such good sports, um, I am gonna give them a little treat. Their favorite treat in the whole wide world is pulchards. One. You guys, don't be crazy. What are you doing? No, not that. No, 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 don't, don't bite it, boy. Can you hear that raspy tongue at work? So when I get an opportunity, I'll try and grab that away from him. Okay, so obviously, guys, it's not a smart idea to try and um, wrestle a item away from a leopard especially when it's a food item um, not smart he might just challenge you for it um, so what you got to do is use the art of distraction make him think that i have something uh, better out here uh, something better than an empty can food and he might just leave that and then i can close the night pen gate so let me try that little trick normally a rock works yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, boy. So indeed, a rock did work. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> there is the can. There is the leopard. And there is the brother. Okay, so another little trick up my sleeve and I'm just gonna reach into my pocket and give um, Duke some catnip to rub on. So this is a sense of touch video, um, but as I've said many times, all the senses are interconnected. And this is an example of him using a few of his senses together He's using taste, he's using smell, he's using touch, he's using sight. Only one he's not really using is his uh, hearing, and that's because he's listening to me. Well, I suppose he is using his hearing. All five senses in one. And he's getting all euphoric and happy, and it gives me a chance to just quickly talk about that. This amazing, amazing coat of a leopard. So for those of you who are wanting to know, guys, what a, a leopard's coat feels like, um, they have incredibly soft fur, unlike a lion, unlike a hyena. They're, my sense of touch on a leopard, it's, it's, like, it's like silk. It really is silky. I suppose your domestic cat has a similar, um, has a similar feel. We're going to give uh, Khan also a bit of catnip because he's also been a good sport. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not meant to. You're not meant to inhale it, buddy. Likes that smell on the body. Also stimulates all the glands. He's such a good boy. What a good animal. Con, you're a lovely animal. We love you very, very much. And there's the grooming, guys. So grooming, grooming, grooming. 
all over the body. And that's where I put the catnip. Now he's getting that in his system for round two of Euphoria. All right, everyone, so that is it for Leopard's uh, Sense of Touch. I hope you enjoyed the video. The leopards never, ever disappoint. Um, they are just full of it, full of energy, and uh, very happy the way this video turned out. I had so much fun filming it. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do share it with your friends. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. And if you want to go one step further, you can also become a member. If you want to see more videos about the leopards, um, they are a firm favorite with a lot of you. Uh, a playlist will pop up on the screen now. And all that's left for me to say, guys, is until next time, see ya and bye.